us Bretons? Not so much. She champions betrayal. I'm certainly not a fan, at least. We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your mettle? You won't even live The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinamark. The Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and she no who erases. Me. Oh. Many are you. our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone. Gain his trust. Lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. This is your last. It's m <coughs> then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome you as one of us. If you wish to gain Boethia's attention, you must slay a frog. You'll beg me to kill you before I'm done! Hello. Bye then. What do you need? Okay, got it. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Tell me, why have you slain this one who trusted you here upon my shrine? What should I do when we stop next? I can finish reading my book? Or maybe finish Indeed. My other book. But I abide only those whose will is aligned to my own. Those who oppose my desires. Perish in the most dreadful of ways. Is that so? You should be. Though a heart without fear is something I can use. Perhaps you are the one I seek. We shall soon find out. Listen, all of you! Hear me. I have need of a warrior. Only the most ruthless, cunning, and agile will do. You have gathered here night after night, sacrificing fools upon my shrine, and sparring aimlessly with yourselves. But which among you truly exceeds the rest? Prove yourselves to me. I have a special task for whichever of you is left standing. You rush them. Right up. 
it up, I promise. Well done. You have proven the strength of your will and your tongue's gift for lies. You have shown ferocity and prowess in combat. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? An astute observation. Skyrim is a beautiful and harsh mistress, but her people cling to such a petty notion of honor. My previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced. In the traditional fashion. You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can, for this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail. A gift fit only for my true champion. May your will carve itself upon the world. Concerned about the longevity of your status as champion?
be worth it. Watch your back from now on. Who knows when Boethia will tire of you being her champion. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. You may keep my ebony mail, a token of my appreciation to my new champion. Its gifts will resonate with your talents. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be.